Mary was at work when she had the thought of where to spend her upcoming holiday. She has been in London for years and has missed her mum so much. Due to the long trip from the UK to the US, she decided to wait until now before embarking on the journey, so that she can budget her income very well. At the end of the day, she had already fixed a travel date on her calendar to spend two weeks in the United States. Meanwhile, before she leaves, she wanted the repainting of her house to commence. Without wasting much time, she got a painter who was referred to her by her cousin in the UK. After getting the quotation of the interior expenses, she made deposit and work commenced while she was away. She has a high taste of interiors. She gave a spare key to the painter whom she trusts so much because he was highly recommended for being on us and already has cameras fixed in the four corners of the house, in and out. She has so much confidence in the good old painter. Having been away for two weeks, she has spent a lot already and has some little change left to buy foodstuffs and to board buses and trains to work. Only the outside was having some little retouching, which wouldn't take long to be completed. Thanks to the speed of the painter. Having been away for two weeks, she has spent a lot already and has some little change left to buy foodstuffs and to board buses and trains to work. She is also run short of foodstuffs and an itemized list of groceries to purchase. Meanwhile, work was still commencing outside the building, but was not going on as fast as she wanted due to the constant rainfall during the contracted month. Nevertheless, that's not her problem. Her main concern is the finished work and the beauty of the house after painting. Work finally resumed and she went to work. On that same day, she resumed. She quickly rushed home during break to pick up a document she forgot to carry along with her, which is so much needed to be signed and submitted by the managing director. She has received so many calls, reminding her about the documents which she had promised to bring to work on resumption. She vowed not to forget the document, but imperfections and rush made her forget that morning. When she got home, she quickly rushed to open the gate to quickly pick up the document in her room so that she could meet up with the next bus going towards her workplace. After getting the file, she kept searching everywhere in the house for her key, which she recently used to open the gate, but can't find it. She was so worried as break hour was almost rounding up. She spent half an hour searching and still can't find it. She was so worried as break hour was almost rounding up. She spent half an hour searching and still can't find it. I can't leave the main entrance door open. I just can't. It's not worth it to trust even those who leave all work around. She soliloquized. I'll have to report this situation to my boss so I can resume a little late this afternoon. Cause I've got to fix this out ASAP or look for this key right away. I just used it a few minutes ago where have I kept it? She said to herself, out of frustration time factor and the necessity for the document to be signed and submitted. She called the painter about it, if he can bring the spare key to her. But it wasn't possible for him to do so because he was in North London at the moment and would be back to South London very late in the day. She just can't resume work without locking the doors. So she called her carpenter to get a new lock to remove the previous one so that she can have a new key and have the rest of mine as well. The carpenter came and had it fixed. She had a deep breath and heaved a sigh of relief after sorting it out with approximately 200 pounds. It was devastating to her as she had recently exhausted her account on the US trip when she visited her mother. As soon as the carpenter left, she had a glass of water 
and picked up her grey-coloured scarf due to the winter cold, only to find out that the grey-coloured key holder of her set of keys was right beside the scarf. She was shocked. She couldn't laugh due to the expenses just dispersed even if it was worth laughing. All she could do was to chuckle twice in amusement. She has sweated her skin out all for the sake of her missing key. She picked up her document and went back to work with the mood of frustration and exhaustion. My house is better protected than to hear stories. 200 pounds is better than buying a thousand new TV sets and accessories.